KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's time for your weather video for this Friday morning, December 28th. Boy, it's been a long week. Uh, hey, boss, come back to work. Uh, he goes to Colorado, goes anywhere this time of year, and the weather is active. Of course, it's always active this time of year in Alabama. Radar estimated rainfall amounts uh, from the National Weather Service in Birmingham showing widespread 3 to 6 inch rainfalls over the western half of the area. Uh, there from parts of Lamar, Fayette, Walker, down through Pickens, Tuscaloosa, over to the Birmingham metro area. Um, well over 4 inches here for me. I just forgotten what the amount the real amount is i think it's somewhere around 4.6 inches of rain so far for me here in southern jefferson county uh over the past uh 30 hours or so um and uh, similar amounts all across the area flash flood watch uh, continues this morning for uh, almost all of central alabama they uh have removed uh pickens lamar fayette marion as well as uh, franklin lauderdale and colbert counties uh, the western part of the watch uh and the rain Ending now, we just got a flood warning uh, for Village Creek at Inslee, uh, at Avenue W in Inslee. Um, the uh, river or the creek uh, stages there had risen uh, overnight or late yesterday to uh, near 10 feet, uh, which is about where minor flooding begins. Uh, but then a uh, heavy rainfall during the early morning hours this morning pushed uh, the uh, creek level there to 11 and a half feet which is where you do get some flooding in the Inslee area. Now, we expect that um, as rain is ending, as you see here on the radar, the composite radar across the southeastern United States, uh, those uh, uh, levels, water levels should begin to drop uh, there at, uh, at Avenue W in Inslee on Village Creek. Now, you can see the axis of the heaviest rainfall has definitely pushed to the east, finally beginning to respond to a short wave. Uh, we've got light showers continuing over much of north and central Alabama. They'll be diminishing over the next several hours. I think they end in the Tuscaloosa area sometime, you know, 9.30, 10, 10.30, Birmingham, you know, probably 11, 12 o'clock, Anniston, 1, 2 o'clock, something in that time frame. Uh, good news for our Auburn fans up in Nashville. Uh, I think you're going to have improving weather for the Music City Bell. It's kind of a uh, little bit dubious uh, Scott's graphic earlier this week you know that they would have sunshine in Nashville but I think that's now the case they'll uh, actually have some sunshine temperatures in the lower 60s uh, falling back into the 50s during the game uh, today against Purdue up in Nashville that'll be a fun one to watch um, we've got uh, that short wave showing up here uh, this is active energy uh, stronger winds you can see the kind of the kink in the upper level wind pattern about 18,000 feet or 500 millibars showing that short wave moving through and it's finally our um, uh, benefactor uh, getting this rain on out of here now what's really been driving things is the uh, 850 millibar jet it has just been screaming for the past 24 hours and uh, early this morning it's still powerful across north alabama but it is beginning to wane as well the uh, upper level pattern relaxing now a bit uh, winds at the surface have certainly relaxed the dynamics pulling out and um, we're going into a little bit of a break. Uh, surface low now moving through the Great Lakes. Everything just moving away. And uh, that's uh, helping to improve our conditions. Drier air will move into North Alabama. I'll use the precipitable water um, products off of the um, NAM to uh, kind of give you an idea what's going to happen. But you can see, um, instead of having these, uh, you know, one, one and a half, almost two inches of precipitable water uh, values over Alabama, like we've had for the past uh, 36 hours. That's going to shift now as the short wave passes. The drier air will pull in, push the uh, uh, moisture axis to the south. But look what happens uh, by Saturday. Uh, by Saturday afternoon, we see that moisture axis uh, shifting back to the north in response to another short wave in this broad southwesterly flow that will have a loft. And uh, that means more rain. Uh, moving into Alabama. And then again, uh, what will turn out to be the third event um, will come in um, late Monday night or Monday night and Tuesday 
and um, could be another wet weather producer for Alabama. But uh, we get a break during the day Saturday, as well as tonight, uh, across central Alabama. Uh, you could see an isolated sprinkle or two, but no organized rainfall. Um, through the morning hours tomorrow, I think things begin to change as we move into the afternoon. A few more showers show up. This is Sunday morning, coming off of the European, uh, showing a decent amount of rainfall over the northern third of Alabama. And, um, you know, I think um, most areas there could pick up, you know, another one half, three quarters, maybe an inch of rain um, during uh, the period between sun- uh, Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. Uh, we get a bit of a break again on Monday, but by Monday night, the European thinks we're going to be back into uh, a decent amount of rainfall, and uh, the European showing some uh, some decent amounts for north and central Alabama. I think we could see another inch to one and a half inches out of this system. We're going to have to watch that closely. Um, our flash flood guidance value is going to be very low, um, and uh, anything could cause flooding, but hopefully our systems will be able to handle um, these sort of rains, just as they've uh, pretty much handled this one. Uh, we've got some reports of, uh, you know, cars that are um, abandoned in western Jefferson County from John Talbot. Uh, some reports of flooding some apartments in Homewood uh, around Shades Creek. And, um, you know, those are uh, fairly minor compared to what we could have had because the system, uh, you know, was generally moderate rain over a long period of time, and we've been pretty lucky. Now, this is the GFS. I'm kind of playing the greatest hits of the models here because, you know, you saw I switch to the European for the system Monday night and Tuesday because that's New Year's Eve. Um, and it looks like it's going to, you know, indicate the, the better chances of rain. The, the uh, GFS comes back with the system for Wednesday and Thursday. And I think it's most interesting because if it happens, um, we could get another one and a half, two inches of rain. Uh, from that system, and you can see on the back side of it here um, some I- some icing over southern Arkansas, probably some freezing rain and sleet in that area, and that'll be something to watch. But the European predicts that by Thursday morning, uh, parts of uh, north central Alabama could again get two to three inches of rain, and uh, that of course would be a significant rainmaker. Um, and this would straddle, um, you know, this would this would fall in the 2019. Uh, rainfall bucket. We're going to finish the year on this side about somewhere around four and a half, five inches above normal uh, for 2018. We could be getting off to a good start for 2019. But now, for our snow fans, you've been waiting patiently. Um, the GFS, again, you know, it's been fairly consistent, you know, at hinting that we might see some wintry precipitation on the back side of uh, some system here in the new year. And uh, that seems to still be true. The latest run. Uh, showing a band of snow developing over northwest Alabama uh, Thursday afternoon. That is a very plausible solution um, given, you know, the setup. Uh, we've seen it happen before. doesn't happen very often, but um, it can happen, and uh, it could produce accumulating snows over north Alabama. This is the GFS depiction of uh, accumulated snowfall um, for Friday evening, by Friday evening. This would be snow that would fall probably... Uh, Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, uh, into Friday across all of northern Alabama. And as you can see, you know, it's not going to snow everywhere. Um, It may not snow at all, uh, given this is a model output. But uh, it is a possibility that we could deal with some wintry precipitation across northern half Alabama. Some places could pick up one to two inches of snow. So having said that, we're going to be watching it closely. That is not a forecast. That is just a possibility. Uh, If that's not voodoo enough for you, and that's pretty voodoo, uh, as we say it here on uh, the Alabama WX uh, weather blog, uh, let's go out to the end of the period to the 12th. This would be Saturday the 12th. And uh, it shows um, a nice area of rain developing over Alabama. That could probably produce another inch. Well, I can't believe we're coming to the end of 2018. If you get a chance, uh, hop over to Weather Brains, listen to the year-ender program with uh, our friend uh, uh, Greg Carbon from the Weather Prediction Center. Greg, of course, reveals his uh, 10th big weather event of the year every year. Uh, right there on Weather Brains. We're very lucky to have him uh, reveal that event. And uh, a little spoiler alert, um, it's named Michael. And, of course, that's a storm that we'll never forget. And, of course, folks uh, along the uh, Florida panhandle up into southern Georgia, northern Florida, uh, will never forget as well. Well, that will uh, do it for uh, this Weather Extreme video for this uh, Friday the um, 28th. I'll be back with the weather video on Sunday. Scott will have the weather video tomorrow, 
and then uh, James will be back uh, on New Year's Eve and uh, all of next week with um, with the uh, regular forecast packages. But until the next time we get together on Sunday, remember keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.